bikes aren't the only way to get around in Minneapolis. In fact, there are times when biking could be better than driving. Riding a bike can be a great way to get from place to place. Sometimes it's even faster than a car because you deal with less congestion and you can find a lot more places to park. Minneapolis is one of the country's most bikeable cities and there are miles and miles of bikeways here. Biking is not just for recreation. You can bike to work, to the ball game, and just about everywhere in Minneapolis. Many of these bikeways are off street bike trails where motor vehicles are not allowed. That includes here on the Cedar Lake Trail, America's first bicycle freeway, and on the Midtown Greenway, the busiest bike trail in Minneapolis. You'll also find people walking or running along these trails. So if you're on a bike, slow down and give pedestrians some space when passing. Also, pass on the left and warn people that you're coming by. Passing on your left. Bikes can also be on all city streets. Minneapolis has several kinds of on-street bikeways. They help cars and bikes share the road safely. The most common on-street bikeways are bike lanes. They give bicyclists their own area of the street to ride. A solid line on a bike lane means cars can't cross into the bike lane. A dashed line means cars may cross into the bike lane if they need to turn or if they need a little more room. But drivers need to look for bikes first and give bicyclists the right of way. Some of our streets don't have enough room for a bike lane. In those cases, you may see these symbols on the streets. They indicate you're on a shared bike lane where cars and bikes both ride. Sometimes shared bike lanes are painted green. This does not mean it's only for bikes. It only marks the best area for bikes to ride. And it serves as a reminder to drivers that they can expect to see a lot of bikes. A few of our streets are designated bike boulevards. The idea is to give bikers a quieter, safer place to ride that goes the same place the busier street goes. Since the bike boulevards don't have a lot of traffic, the emphasis can be put on bicycling, not driving. That means fewer stop signs so bikes can keep moving and things like medians and speed bumps so the cars slow down. Again, cars and bikes share the bike boulevards, but there's usually a better street for cars a few blocks away. To learn more about bike lanes, shared lanes, and bike trails, check out the City of Minneapolis website.